Hello, Libra viewers. This is just a quick, um, quick love messages. Whatever the cards want to say, whatever this person wants to tell you. Um, I just dyed my hair, so that's why my hands are like that. So bear with me here. My feelings are stronger for you than I've let on. I've thought, okay, so this is this is somebody who's very deeply in love with you, it looks like here. My feelings are stronger than I let on. I've thought about going on vacation for you. I will always find you. I'll always come back for you. I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. I'm getting a really sweet energy. I'm actually getting that this is for somebody. This is your cat or this is an animal that passed on. I'm getting a cat energy because I mean, I know there's like a cat on this card, but I keep like I'm looking at the cat. Like I'm looking like and th this isn't for most of you. This is for like one or two of you. I feel like this is a pet that passed on. Because I'm getting a just a very pure, very innocent, very loving energy. And I feel like this pet is saying, like, they're going to find you again. Like, you guys will be together again. That's basically the message I'm getting for your pet is that they're not gone forever. Um, you know, you guys, that, that might have been, like, your, like, uh, past life connection with the pet, basically. So it's like they're saying they will come back for you. And they do want to manifest a reunion with you. They might want to come back and, and like, if it was, like, a cat, they might want to come back in cat form again or they want to come back in dog form again I'm just getting some kind of energy here where it's like they do want to come back to you but for most of you um that was just a quick message for somebody but for most of you I feel like this is probably uh just a you know a regular love message it could be from a friend or family member but for most of you I think it's probably romantic so my feelings for you are stronger than I let on I've thought about going on a vacation with you I will always find you I'll always come back for you I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. This person has you on the, on a pedestal. This person does see you as their true love. Like this, this person does see you as the person that they want to marry. I'm afraid you'll never forgive me. There's so much that I want to say to you. I feel like this person, I actually, I get a really good vibe from this person, to be honest. I, I do get the vibe of somebody who has a lot of, like, honor, integrity, loyalty. Um, I think somebody that's very pure, very loving, somebody who has a good heart. Even if they're damaged and a little bit guarded, I do feel like this is a really good person. Because I feel like, I'm getting that vibe, I think, partially, part of it is just because I feel like they're so hard on themselves. Like, I don't feel like this person did anything too horrible to you. Like, I don't think this person, like, cheated on you or abused you or anything crazy like that. I feel more like it, it's, it's like maybe this person's kind of old-fashioned where they just feel like they didn't treat you quite as well as they should have. They felt like they, I'm hearing that song, um, what is that song? I should, I should have bought you flowers when I had the chance, should have given you all my hours, and now my baby's dancing with another man. I'm hearing that song. Um, and you could be male or female either way. But but that's just the energy I'm picking up here. It's like somebody who is a really good person, but they're overly hard on themselves. They're kind of afraid that you'll never forgive them. But I think what they did that they needed forgiveness for is they just didn't reach out or they took too long or they um, they didn't say something that they should have said. I feel like they kept it kind of in the, you know, they, they kept things in the safe zone, basically. They might have tried to keep it platonic as well. I'm working hard to remove the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. You come off uninterested and detached. I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my phone there. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I don't know why my phone's not adjusting. Sorry, I just reckon I just realized it was doing that. I'm going to pause this for a second, actually, to fix this. There we go. Sorry, I don't, I just, I just saw that it was doing that. Um, your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I 
I don't even know if this person necessarily took you for granted. They just... What is this energy that I'm getting? I almost feel like they didn't recognize what was there in front of them or they didn't recognize that you were coming on to them. It might have been one of those situations where it's like they didn't realize how you felt until it was too late and you were kind of blowing up in their face like, I'm done, I'm not doing this anymore. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, you're not doing what anymore? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it might have been one of those situations where it's like they, they really didn't know how they how you felt until it was too late. Or they just had so many other things going on in their lives that they weren't really looking for love or they weren't noticing what was in front of them. And it feels like now they've they've kind of they see what was in front of them. They see they notice it more now. I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity on my own, but I can't. I need answers. You're so empathetic and kind and thoughtful. It's inspiring me to open up to you. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. I'm waiting for you to give me a clear opening. I don't know how you feel. I want clarity and certainty before I reach out. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. So yeah, this isn't a bad person. Um, I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating somebody else. This isn't really a bad person. You came on strong. I wasn't ready for it. I'm being watched. There's people around me. I'm afraid you moved on by now. Yeah, this, this isn't a bad person. I just feel like this is somebody who they didn't see the potential. They had maybe this is somebody that was with somebody else at the time. And so they, they kind of didn't allow themselves to see the potential or they had other things going on in their life or they um, – it's like they just didn't really – they didn't see you. They didn't fully recognize you. Or it could have been like a situation, maybe it was a work setting or a coworker. So they just kind of weren't in, maybe like maybe when you guys meet each other, it's at, in like a work setting, like either their work or your work. And, and so they're just kind of not in that mode of trying to meet people. You know what I mean? They're just kind of in that energy of like, well, I'm here to work or this person's there to work. Like they, they didn't realize that you were flirting with them or that you had feelings. They didn't really... They, they didn't see the potential or they might have thought that there was an incompatibility there and then they, they they realized that they could work through that incompatibility with you um or maybe there was something about themselves they thought that you wouldn't accept and then come to find out later on later on down the line that you would actually accept that about them i'm hearing autism for somebody i'm hearing like some of them because I get a very sweet, gentle, pure energy from this person. And I feel like some some of them, for, not for all of you, but for one or two of you, this person. And again, you know, I cannot diagnose personality disorders or mental, just, you know, learning disabilities or anything like that. I'm, I'm not I'm not a pro professional. I cannot I cannot diagnose those. But, you know, I'm getting a similar energy to autism, I'll say. And it might have been one of those things where this person felt like you would reject them or you wouldn't want them. And, you know, with that, too, there's also like, you know, people like that also have a hard time like they're intelligent. Don't get me wrong. Like you can be autistic and be very intelligent or, or just neurodivergent in general and be very intelligent. But I feel like sometimes they do have a hard time picking up on uh, social cues. They do have, a, you know, it might have been one of those situations where it's like this person really did not know how you felt like you were dropping all the hints. And then eventually, you know, you got frustrated and you started dating somebody else or you started or you might have blown up or you might have just said like, hey, like, you know, like you might have said something or someone might have told them that you had feelings for them. It's like I feel like they found out something and they didn't even they're 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 smacking themselves now because they're like, how did I not see that? How did I not? How did I not? That was right in front of my face. How did I not notice that connection that was there in front of me? How did I not notice how this person felt? Um But I feel like they do have this awareness now and they don't want to let you go. They do want to come back around and they they want to apologize and they want to take accountability and they want to um, work on this with you. So it, it's a really good energy overall. Um, anyway, I hope that resonates. If it does, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I really appreciate your comments because it, I'm trying to get back in the, the algorithm again, get YouTube to, to, remote, to promote my videos again. Um, and if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress.awol.com. That's right below in the description box. Thank you for watching.